Good morning, day 221. Still cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and working pantry meals. So I figure I could probably go a full 365 days. That's my perspective goal. So I think I have plenty of food to last that long, but I don't know. I imagine you guys might be getting tired of cooking videos, but I'll try and intersperse it with other things because I do do other things besides cook. Um, so anyway, today is going to be a beautiful 80 degrees here in Ohio, and um, I need to get out in my garden because I haven't looked at my one zucchini for quite a while and I know they grow pretty fast. So I'll take you out in the garden with me later. I have to water and do some garden chores. There's always something with my name on it going, do me first, do me first. So, but anyway, it keeps life interesting and not boring. So I don't need to run too many errands today. I told a friend that I would go let their dog out. They're going to go on a little road trip. So it's always nice when your friends can do something and you can help them out. So I have to go there a couple times and let their little dog out. So I'm still loving my Chefman single serve coffee maker. I think this little thing is great for the price. It's way cheaper than a Keurig. Keurig is like $99 for the single serve unless you get it on sale. And this little thing was like $30, $39, something like that. I got it at Ollie's. And I don't know, it's probably available online if you're in the market for one, but I don't know. But I really like it. I like it way better than my Keurig. It makes good coffee, and uh, I like that I can use either the K-Cups or I can use um, my regular coffee with it, which makes it better for me because I do have a stash of regular coffee too. Right now I've been enjoying the K-Cups, but I'll get back to my own coffee eventually. So anyway, that's my plans for today. I'm going to go let the dog out and do a little bit in my garden. And um, I've got some beautiful flowers in my front garden. I'll have to show you guys. Uh, they're balloon flowers and cone flowers, and they bloom at the same time. So it's sort of a pink and blue combination. That and my hydrangeas, and it, uh, it looks really nice. So anyway, uh, I don't know what the rest of the day is going to bring. I have plenty of choices for meals, as I always do. I'm trying to put the reins in on buying produce until I use up what I have. So I cooked ahead a couple of things, and uh, all I need to do is have some sides with it. All right, I will be back later, and we will see what's for breakfast, day 221. Let's go take a look at my front garden. I think it looks very nice. So these are all my geraniums and petunias. And look at this beauty. And then over here, I have my window box. It's got geraniums and sun patients and wandering Jenny. And my hanging baskets. And my pots. And my petunias. So these are all annuals. 
But I wanted to show you my hydrangeas. And these are all cone flowers, and the bees love them. They start out, these are the balloon flowers. They start out like little balloons, and then they pop open into these. So I have those, and then these over here, it's a combination of cone flowers and balloon flowers. So the camera doesn't really do it justice, but yes, I know, I have a lot of flowers. <laughs> these are perennials, they come back every year as do the hydrangeas, but this is <laughs> what the front of my house looks like. I know, some people would say, oh, it's so much stuff, but I love it. I absolutely love it. So, the camera doesn't do it justice. I mean, the colors are just awesome. So anyway, I wanted to show you the balloon flowers and the cone flowers. And the nice thing is they come back every year. So I had cone flowers in here too, but I, they didn't come back this year for some reason. But I'm always pulling the cone flowers out because they spread like crazy. And this is my favorite cone flower. The color's faded now, but it's usually a bright orange, and it's a smaller one. So it is getting a couple of new flowers. You can see they're orange. So I have those. And then over here I have all zinnias and petunias. And here I have cucumbers. I have one on either side. This one's doing much better. And this is my tomato. I'm getting a couple of beefsteak tomatoes. They're not very big, but, you know, it's a container. So, and I plant these in there every year. And what do we have here? Eh, a little bugaboo of some sort. This is my blueberry, but I didn't get any blueberries this year. It usually gives me some, but it grew like crazy. So I don't know why there were no blueberries. I suppose I should repot it. And these shrubs have been in these pots for years and years and years, but they seem to be doing okay. So over here I have the same thing. I have cucumbers. And tomatoes. This is a different tomato. This is early girl. And uh, <clears throat> these ripen quicker or sooner. So, and then all these zinnias. So that is my front garden. Over here I have more cone flowers. And I had an orange one in here too, but it didn't come back this year. And I have one orange flower. I don't know where they went. I think sometimes they um, they combine with the uh, natural cone flowers. I think I remember reading that a while back. So then they go back to the natural color, which is sort of a purple. So anyway, that is my front garden. And let me give you a further away shot. So it's kind of all in the shadows. It's much, much more brilliant. The colors are actually beautiful. So what do you think? Too much? <laughs> you can leave me a comment below. I won't be offended. But I just love flowers. I always have. And I probably always will. So there we go. My garden. 2022. And it's usually a little different every year, other than the perennials. 
but the balloon flowers spread like crazy, as do the cone flowers. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed my little front yard tour. Time for brunch, day 221, 22, <laughs> oh good lord, I just can't remember, anyway, I'll stick it on the screen, so let's see what's for breakfast today, all right, I have this, <laughs> I confiscated creamers from Bob Evans, I never leave them on the table. I always take them home because why not? All right, I'm going to have this half of a grapefruit yet that I got for my um, produce stash. So I'm going to have that. Um, I need to drink some of my iced tea. I always keep my Bubba cup in the fridge if I don't finish it in the evening while I'm watching TV. Um, let's see what's in here. I have a lot of bread I have to use up. So I really need to eat up this seitan roast beef because it doesn't last that long. Um, in fact, I think I might freeze half of it because it's expensive and I don't want it to go bad. So I'm going to have that breakfast again with the cream cheese and the cheddar. I'm going to have that. And I still have a piece of cucumber here that I need to eat up. So I'll have that. And then bread. Um, I think this is still Walmart bread. No, it's sourdough bread that my daughter gave me. So I'm going to have some of that. And now I still have this little bit of the French bread left with a big hole in the middle. Need to eat that up. I've got buns back there. And there's a few cherries in here that I'm going to eat up too because I hate to waste food. It's just too doggone expensive. And even if it wasn't expensive, I still hate to waste it. All right. Um, I still have this rye bread too. I may have that for dinner with my seitan, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see when the time comes. All right, I will meet you at the stove. Coffee time. Cheers. All right, I have all my fixings here. And I'm still in my jammies. All right. Um, I'm sure you all know how to make a sandwich. So I'm going to go ahead and prep this all up. And I'll show it to you when I get it done. 
Okay, so here is my breakfast this morning. Uh, Violife cream cheese with um, tofurkey roast beef. Uh, a little bit of the cucumber with salt and pepper. The rest of my cherries, I finished those up now. And a uh, very delicious grapefruit. And I'm not usually a fan, but I do like these red grapefruits. So there it is, my breakfast for this morning. So I'll be back later and maybe we'll go have a little walk around my backyard garden. All right, enjoy your morning coffee if you're visiting with me in the morning. And if you're visiting with me in the evening, enjoy your beverage of choice whether that's a glass of wine or whatever. All right, I'll be back. I have another project in mind for my kitchen. I tore out some napkins and I want to decoupage these onto this cabinet, but I'm going to do a, a like a tannish brown wash over it so it's not so bright in your face. I put two new knobs on there that I picked up from Home Depot and this was a very modern looking cabinet at one time and I had a guy um, paint it to sort of match this cabinet. It doesn't match exactly. It's a little bit too light there. This part is pretty good so I'm going to go over that with a little bit of brown wash when I do this. But I really like this cabinet. It's got an old world feel and it came with these decals on there. So um, I want to make this one look more like that. So that's a project that I have going. And then I took some more napkins and I think I'm going to decoupage these grape things onto these mason jars and that's part of my open shelving. I think that'll look good. So I've got those two projects in mind. Always a project with this one. <laughs> and then let me show you my teeny tiny harvest. Okay, here it Lana. is. It's not much but my beans are starting to come in. These were the only ones that were worth picking. But within the next week or so, I'll be getting some green and purple beans. I planted yellow ones too, but I didn't see any of those yet. And my cherry tomatoes, they look really good. Now this one is a black cherry, and like I said, uh, before I fed them, they were starting to get blossom end rot. And this is actually one of the first ones to become ripe but I'll just cut that off and put it in a salad and this is my first zucchini so it's a good size but it's I think it's I think it's pregnant <laughs> because it got really fat so anyway there is my teeny tiny from the garden produce haul and within the next month I'll be getting much more produce I'm sure so I need to do something with this potato. Maybe I'll make french fries. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I will be back later. All right. Let's see what's for dinner. Day 221. So I have a pretty good idea. I have this rye bread. I want to finish that up, or at least most of it. I have this seitan that I need to eat, and this was um, corned beef seitan that I made and had frozen, so that needs to be eaten. And I'm going to have this Gouda cheese. Probably use that up and um, 
Oh, let's see. I have this aioli mustard that I'm going to have on it. And I'm going to make like just a hot corned beef and cheese sandwich. So I also need some butter for the pan. And I think that's it. I might have a little bit of this salad, I'm not sure. But I'll get it out anyway. Alright, I will meet you at the stove. stove. I'm going to put my dinner together and uh, hopefully it'll be good and I'll get rid of a few things in my fridge. Okay, I heated up the rest of my seitan here and I had three slices of the rye bread left. So I have enough for maybe for breakfast yet. But it always makes me happy when I use something up because then I know I haven't wasted my money. So I'm just going to put a little mustard on here. And I use this seitan just like I would corned beef. Um, may not taste exactly the same, but that's okay. I like the taste <coughs> and it's very similar to corned beef except it's plant-based which is right up my alley so there isn't a whole lot left but I'm going to have some cheese with it too so it'll be like a toasted cheese seitan sandwich. And I know it's good because I've had it before. Alright, stick some cheese on here. And that's the end of the Gouda cheese. So that makes me happy that I used that up. So, just a very simple dinner. I was going to make french fries with this, but this is such a big piece of bread that I know this will fill me up. And so I don't think I need the french fries. I want to start cutting back a little bit on calories. So, just because a lot of times when I eat, I just I feel too full when I'm done. So I'm going to try and avoid that a little bit. So okay, in it goes. And I'm going to put this on a medium low so that it can uh, melt the cheese. And that's it. I'll be back when my dinner's all done. Okay, well I decided to just have a little bit of a side salad here. These tomatoes are from my garden, the beans are from my garden, and they're just raw. And then the cucumber was from my reduced veggie box. I just have a little piece left that I'm saving for breakfast. Because that breakfast this morning with the uh, cream cheese and seitan and cucumber was really good. So I want to eat that again. So again with the balsamic dressing, and I have salt and pepper on, on here as well. So that's it. Very simple dinner. And this is plenty of food. This is a big sandwich. All right. Let me take a bite. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Very good. I actually have a couple more packages of the Seitan Frozen in the freezer. But this is good for now. I'll get that out at some other time. I want to finish up what I have in my refrigerator first. Plus that, I decided not to eat the coleslaw, the chops uh, salad, because I want to save that for some fish tacos. All right, so here is my dinner, day 221, and I'll be back in a little bit. Well, I never did make it outside uh, in the backyard, so no backyard garden tour today. I actually was very lazy today. I had to go let my friend's dog out twice, so I don't do well when I have other things that I have to do. Once I get into a project, I don't want to stop and start again. So I just kind of don't get started. I just do simple things. So, um, oh, it was a beautiful day, though. I put the convertible top down and went for a nice ride. <laughs> <laughs> My friend's dog is like really crazy. <laughs> I was trying to get her collar on and it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> but I won. So anyway, it was fun. But um, so that was my exciting day. Um, nothing else much going on. I watched a couple of YouTube videos on how to um, put napkins on furniture, you know, the pretty napkins. Mod Podge, that's, what I, that's the word I was looking for. How to Mod Podge napkins onto furniture. So I want to do that, but I, I, wanna, I don't want to have to stop and start and do that. So I want to do that on a day where I can stay home. So I think tomorrow maybe I'll do that and maybe I'll Mod Podge my, my jars too. We'll see. You never know. With me, sometimes one of my kids will call or a friend will call and say, Hey, let's do this or let's do that and I'm all about it. So people are more important to me than doing stuff. So I'm going to be very happy, though, when I get my living room set back up because right now I kind of feel like everything's a mess again. I thought I had a handle on it, and now it just went poof. So, but I, I really hadn't planned on buying the, the little love seat, but that was a great deal I couldn't pass up. So anyway, it'll get done again. And... Uh, Dinner was good, easy, and I'm working on getting the refrigerator uh, cooked down before I buy some new things. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.